Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? This is Brenda with Wreaths by Busy Bees Custom Creations. And it is Merry Christmas Eve, Eve, everyone. So say hello when you come in. Let me know you're watching. How's everyone doing? Guys, I cannot believe that it is Christmas Eve. I don't know about you guys. Hey, Janet, how's it going? I just can't believe it's Christmas Eve. Eve, Eve. It's Christmas Eve, Eve. Yeah, so. So tonight, we are going to be making a wreath with this little sign, and it says, just what part of rough don't you understand? Hey, Stephanie. So I got this from the at-home store. So um, that's what we're going to be making. Hey, Darlene, how are you? I'm feeling better. Thank you. Hey, Maria. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Arlene. Merry Christmas. Hey, Judy. Can you guys believe it? I cannot believe it. Hey, Avis. Hey, Dora. Kathy. Janet. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, Kathy. How are you? So I have my um, frame ready. So we are going to be using this really pretty black and white um, basket weave mesh. Hey, MJ, how are you? Hey, Deb. So we're going to use that. Um, yes, type in live. If you did not receive an alert or you're new to my page. Hey, Lynette. Yes, thank you. Merry Christmas to you guys as well. Oh, thank you, Judy. Very much appreciated. Yes, yes, yes. Please, please, please share. So I'm excited. I can't believe, I cannot believe that um, tomorrow is Christmas Eve already. So we have um, all my kids over. Well, all my kids, I have two kids and their spouses and grandkids over tomorrow. So we're going to go see the Grinch Um I get 12.15, so that'll be fun. Hey, Doris. Hello, hello, hello. So I think I have everything ready except for I have two presents that were supposed to be here Wednesday. They didn't show up. Then I got an email saying they were supposed to come sat or Saturday. And then Saturday I got, I got an email saying that they were probably lost. <laughs> okay, so I can reorder them or, you know, just cancel the order. So I reordered them. Now they're supposed to get here tomorrow. So hopefully they get here in time because it's for one of the grandkids. All right. So I'm going to be doing the poof method with the 10 inch um, mesh. Now it won't make as big of a, a poof, but I don't know. I Nine times out of 10, I use, I use the 10 inch mesh. Which mesh do you guys like to use? The 10 inch or the 21 inch? So I'm just going to take it. And, ooh, bread and rolls. That sounds good. Very good. I know, hopefully I will get them tomorrow. And hopefully I get them early enough that I can quick wrap them. Merry Christmas, Sandy. So I'm just going to do 12-inch poofs. And I'm just going to take it and measure them and pull it. But with this mesh, I think we'll be okay because it's a thicker mesh, but that's all right. You do too, Janet. I know. I have, I mean, I don't have, I have definitely have more 10 inch mesh than I do the 21 inch mesh, but I don't know. I just like using the 10 inch mesh the best. I don't know. So I tend to use it more. All right, let me do this. Yeah, me too, Janet. Yep. So do you guys have all your shopping done? Merry Christmas, Joy. Or are you one of those last minute people that you'll go out tomorrow and buy presents for people? Hey, Nicole. Yep, 10 inch, yep. Hey, Cece, I keep catching my sweatshirt. I think I'm gonna have to take it off. Hey, Connie. I was a little chilly earlier, so I put my sweatshirt, oops, my sweatshirt on. And uh, I dropped my mouse. <clears throat> Put that here so I don't lose it. Okay. All right. I know 
Oh, Merry Christmas! Um, I can't, I still, I can't believe it. I don't know, it just doesn't seem like Christmas, but... Oh, night! Nice. Oh, no, she cut her finger? Oh, no! Yeah, you better do it tomorrow, Stephanie. <laughs> That's for sure. Hey, Dee, how are you from Australia? Welcome! I am making a dog wreath with this little sign. Isn't it cute? Right there. I found it at At Home a couple of months ago. And so I was trying to figure out what I was going to make. Hey, Rose. And um, Merry Christmas, Gail, to you and your family as well. So Christmas Eve, we always have the kids and grandkids over. And then on Christmas Day, um, we go over my son's for brunch. And then, hey, Johnny. And then, um, can someone tell Rose that I got this mesh at Craft Outlet, please? Um, we go over my daughter's for dinner, so. <clears throat> All right, now I'm back at the beginning. Now, I don't usually... The only time I really, oh, thanks, Karen, um, open the ties up is when I do the mesh and, you know, just to start. Oh, okay, MJ. All right, so that's the top layer. All right, so then I'm going to bring it down to the bottom layer. And when you bring it down to the bottom layer, you don't want to pull real tight. Thanks, Cheryl, because you don't want to pull that mesh over this way. So you just want to loosely bring it down. And that's why I always start at a crossbar because that's where I put my full tie and my half tie. <laughs> Thanks, MJ. Yes, the dog signed this. I got this from... Um, at home a couple of months ago. Oh, nice, Stephanie. So again, I'm just going to do, I'm going to do 10 inch poofs on the bottom since the mesh is a little thicker. Hey, Barbara, how's it going? I know, I was so bummed out when I didn't get those two presents, and I'm like, oh no, you know, because I don't know about your kids and grandkids, but when my kids were little, they used to count how many presents they each got, so you always had to make sure they had the same number of presents, right? Hey, Melody, so my grandkids do the same thing, so you know, I kind of have to make sure I have the same number of presents for all of them. Do your kids do that? I don't know, they're really funny. So I'm like, oh no, if I don't have these two, well, he's the two and a half year old, so he probably won't notice, um, but you know, I like to, oh, I got this today, this caddy, I got today at um, Michael's, it was originally $50 and it was 50% off, I know, I love it, so I um, got it today because I was like, oh, you know, I'd like something I can put there and it's easier to find stuff. So I've actually found that today. Your kids did too. I know it's crazy. You know, you wonder why they ever started it. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when we were growing up, we were lucky just to have presents, right? Because my mom had seven kids and then your grandkids. Too. <laughs> my mom had seven kids and then she married a man with six kids. I'm the youngest when um, I was in second grade. So we were lucky we had presents, you know what I mean? And we mostly got, hey, Donna, you know, we mostly got stuff we needed. So, and it's funny because then when my, you know, as we got older and we got married and stuff, well, my mom would buy us all the same gift. Like if she buy a set of sheets, she'd buy a set of sheets for every one of us. <laughs> So we all, you know, if one opened it up, then we knew we were all getting the same thing. But I'm sure that was a lot easier than trying to buy an individual presents for all 13 of us, you know. So, but she's funny. Yeah, I try. Hey, Robin, how are you? I'm trying to get, you know, more and more organized. So I changed out my table 
Um, the table was on sale for like $29. So I changed up my table to get a little bit bigger of a setup. No, this is my craft room. This is it. I just kind of, you know, I'm always tweaking it. Yes, the mesh is from Craft Outlet. Yeah, right, Cece? I know. Yeah, tell, um, can someone type into Rose that I got it at Michael's today? It was 50% off. It was $25. So I thought that was worth it. So I was like, I always have all these, like, I had all my stuff in, like, you know, little cups, little containers, and I had, like, 50 of these little cups laying all over the place, and I'm like, I need one thing to, or to organize all this stuff. So, no, this is just a um, folding table, a six foot fold and half table. And what I did was I got those bed risers. And so I just raised it up so, you know, I can sit behind it and that kind of stuff. Yeah, so I just have risers on it. And that way, you know, I have my chair here and... And then I keep my mat on it. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Yeah, I think it should be good. You know, it's always fun to spend the day with your family. Like I said, my daughter and I are going to take her three, three oldest to take to see the Grinch tomorrow. Has anybody seen that? I know. Um, I think Stephen was on here the other day, and he said he saw it, and it was pretty good. So we're going to take the three older ones to um to see that movie because you know when you have all boys and it's cold out you need something to do with them all day right oh thank you judy so we're going to take them to the movies like at 12 15 so we'll be busy doing that and then by the time we get home you know we'll have to start dinner and that kind of stuff so and we always make um i think i told you guys this the other day we make homemade stromboli's Thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. So we don't do the, you know, traditional, you watch Kurt Russell? <laughs> what movie do you watch with him? Yes, please share. And if you guys are interested in my group, type group in. This Tuesday night, we had a Zoom call. Oh, cheesecake. Oh. Movie night. Okay. Yeah, so. So, yeah, so it'll be fun tomorrow. I have to get my craft room so I can walk in there. Oh, Stephanie, I know. I know. I know it, I know it, I know it. Christmas Chronicles. I don't think I've ever seen that one. What's that? I'm cooking? You mean like cooking for dinner for... Merry Christmas, Dara. Whoop. Look at that. Perfect. I, I knew I'd opened this roll. And I was hoping I would have enough. And I think I just have enough to finish it. Oh, okay. You just watched it? Okay, so this will take me to the end. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen that. I'll have to look that up and tie that in. All right. Whoop, I knocked down my dog. <clears throat> okay, yeah, hey, that turned out pretty good. All right, so then I just take the beginning and tuck it down underneath. And then I take a zip tie. I'm loving this caddy. Oh, we make homemade strombolis. Yeah, we do homemade strombolis on um, Christmas Eve every year. So we get the dough. Hey, Janice. And hey, Teresa. And we, um, we have um, 
filet mignon and we cut it up and um, get it all ready. So, and then like I, you know, buy pepperoni and mozzarella and bacon and green peppers and all kinds of stuff that, you know, you can kind of put in, you know, kind of design your own. Oh, thanks, Sherry. All right. So that is that. And you just want to spread out your poofs. Thanks, Jane. Merry Christmas to you over there in Australia. And like I said, I'm just going to um, open up my poofs and make sure my ties can be found. Sometimes I lose my ties. Oh, apple dumplings. Ugh. Um, Jasmine, this is a 14-inch frame from the Dollar Tree. I kind of always make my own frames. Um, not the frame itself, the work frame. I don't usually use the work frame. Hey, Tony, how you doing? So, Merry Christmas. Okay. I love this bat. Um, thanks, Colleen. Same to you. I love this basket weave mesh. It's really pretty. Okay. All right. So, how many ties? I do. I do things a little different. I do six ties. I do it on the cross frames, and then I always get asked. So I do um. 12 full size frames and then I do six half size frames. So let me put this here for now. So what I do is this is just a box frame from um, the Dollar Tree. Oh, what are you baking, Beth? And what I do, excuse me, I put a full size pipe cleaner on the very inner ring right here and then I put a half size pipe cleaner Hey, Annette, how are you? Half one here, and then a full one on the third ring in the middle. So every section, this section here, has three full, one here, one here, one here, and two half. And I don't put my um, ribbon streamers in the half ones. It's just kind of how I've made it, and so that's what I do. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now what I was thinking we would do is I'm going to take some of this um, five and a half inch mesh and I'm either going to do, we'll see what we decide to do, either um, curls or ruffles. So we will see what we like best. Just to add a little of the red in. Okay, so let me cut this to, let's see, 20 inches and see if I like the, um, am I froze? There we go. Um, a ruffle in here or just a curl? Am I frozen for you guys, or is it okay? Because on my computer, it's frozen all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, I missed a bunch of, um, let me go out and come back in, because for some reason, I'm frozen on my computer. Let's see what's going on there. Oh, thanks, Joy. Yeah, I don't know why. Face looks being wacky on my um, computer, on my um, my um, iPad. It's fine. Huh. <laughs> the um, the poofs were twelve inches. Yeah, I'm just getting. That's crazy. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do these and see if I like this or just like curls. I don't know. We'll see. So what I did was I just took these and I cut them to 20 inches. And, um, hmm. So 
let me see if I like that or if I like the just doing the um like a curl so curl I'll cut 10 and then for the curl I will just um see how it has a natural curl to it I will just take it and curl it that way oh I got this at um Michael's today it was 50% off. It was originally $50, but it um, was on sale for $25. So I was super excited, excuse me, super excited that I got that on sale. Thank you, Cheryl. Merry Christmas to you. So let me see which we like better. You guys can help me decide. Yeah, for some reason, my computer does not want to work. So, let's see what we like better. When I do the curls, I will do two. I know, right? I really do love it. Um, it's called the um, Desktop... Patty organizer, I think it was. It was at Michael's. If you go online, um, they showed it there. All right, which do you guys think you like best, the ruffle or the curl? What do you think? Yeah, me too. I really like it. Yeah, Facebook's being wonky on there. So, what do you think, ruffle or curl? So this one is the ruffle, this one is the curl. The curl, I kind of think so too. All right, woo, got caught on my necklace. All right, everyone wants the curl. Okay, so what we will do is I will use two pieces for each curl. And what I'm doing is I'm just taking them and cutting them to 10 inches. Let me just cut some. Oh, this is a rotary cutter, and I'm cutting it on a self-healing mat. You always want to use a self-healing mat with it because otherwise you will ruin your table, and you don't want to do that. So yeah, it's called a, yeah, it's a rotary cutter. Yep. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. If you do a lot of stuff with mesh, you definitely want a rotary cutter. It just makes it so much quicker and um I should have cut these ahead of time but I wasn't sure what I was going to do so I was like well let me wait and see let me wait and see oh no Colleen what do you have to have surgery for your knee what did you do Yeah, that's a good deal. Yep, use those coupons. Absolutely. I lost count of how many I have, so we'll go with that for now. So again, all I do is I just take these and just roll them the way they want to go. And then I just stick them in there to hold it while I do the other one. And let me get my wreath here. Okay, so then you want to make sure you put the cut side down and just gather it in the middle. And then I just lay them on top of each other in like an X pattern. 
and then I lay it into the pipe cleaner. I don't untie the pipe cleaners. I just put it right on top. Okay. Hey, Jeannie. Hey, Dorothy. How are you? Yep, that's a great idea. Yes, they can be very expensive. Yep, and you want to, you kind of get to go through blades. So I always keep some on hand too. And if I see them on sale or if I see them, you know, if I have a coupon, I definitely use a coupon. Um, this is called a desktop storage caddy, I think it was. I got it at Michael's today. It was, oh no. Um, I got it at Michael's State. It was 50% off because it was normally $50. So I got it for $25. I was really excited about that. Oh, no, Carol, you live there? Well, next time I go, you'll have to come with me. It's a great place, and the people are awesome. I hate driving down there because, you know, I have to take the Schuylkill Expressway. It takes me, you know, usually takes me an hour. In fact, last week when I went, it took me an hour and a half. Traffic was so bad. So I was not happy about that. Merry Christmas, Mary Ellen. Okay, so again, I just roll them up, do them in a crisscross, and tie them in my tie. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. Let's see if I can get back on here. Oh, awesome. No problem. If you're just learning, I have a Facebook group that I do more one-on-one -on -one training. So if you would like information about that, just type group in. And like I said, we do um, Zoom calls so I can see you and you can see me. And if you have any questions. Oh, you work at Michael's? Do you get a good discount? I will be making a Valentine wreath. As a matter of fact, Jasmine, I have a kit that I'm sewing for Valentine's. I'll show you guys. Um, I think I only have four or five of those left. And then I will um, make that kit. I'm trying to do one kit a month. And the kit has, you know, it, it'll come with the frame, the pipe cleaners, the mesh, the sign, the ribbon. So it will come with all of that. And if you're new here and don't receive my alerts, type in live and make sure that you answer the questions that my bot um, asks. Otherwise, you will not be subscribed so you get alerts. And make sure you do that, please. No problem, Jasmine. Okay, so that's the top done with adding those. The kits are $50. And if you're a member of my group, you get 10% off of anything in my shop. And um, these, well, the original mesh was 10 inches. This is just five and a half inch mesh that I'm using to do the little um, curls with. So I'll show you that um, Valentine's kit I have. It's in the back there. I also, if you see the Be Blessed sign, I have some um, signs in my shop I just put in there. I know, it's, it's terrible. I hate to go on the Scoople Expressway because it's a nightmare. You know, there's always accidents and trouble and ugh. So, hey Reba, how are you? So yeah, so I know I have a Valentine's kit. I have, oh, this, <laughs> this is a Bodabra. It's a bow maker, but the only thing I ever use it for is to hold my, um, <laughs> is to hold my,
curls and stuff because I don't like it. I use the, the Pro Bow or the, um, the Easy Bow Maker. Um, a lot of my mesh I get from Craft Outlet. It's an online store. Okay, I need eight more ruffles cut. <clears throat> hey, Jonathan, how are you? So let's get this cut. Oh, good. I'm sure when you do stuff with your grands, it's always a mess, right? Oh, awesome. You got the Pro Bow? Hey, Rachel, welcome. Thank you. Have you used it yet? Sophia, have you used your Probo yet? That's the question. Oh, wow. I'm sure it was crazy today at work anywhere because... Um, Oh, awesome. Good. Yeah, so in my um, group, we, we're doing bows. We did some on the Pro Bow Tuesday night, and then um, I'm going to do the Easy Bow Maker also. I'm cutting, excuse me, Cheryl, I'm cutting these 10 inches to do the curls. So they're five and a half inches wide, and I'm cutting them to 10 inches. So then, like I said, you want the cut side facing down and put one on top of the other and kind of make an X and then just put it in your pipe cleaner like that. Yes, I do have an Etsy shop, June. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't, for some reason I can't, my Facebook is not want to connect. Otherwise, I would put the post to my Etsy shop on here. Yes, but you know what, Sophia? You just, it's its all about practice. When I first started making bows, oh, they were awful. So what I always suggest you do is go to the dollar store or something like that or the Costco ribbon. You want to use ribbon that's not real expensive, right? Because you don't want to, you know, mess with your wire. Or your ribbon, your good ribbon. You know, you don't want to buy use ribbon that costs you twenty dollars a roll to um, practice with. So you just take and you just practice, practice, practice. <clears throat> yeah, it really does. I mean, it just takes time and it takes practice. And you just have to take your time. Sam's Christmas clearance. Do they have a Christmas clearance? Do they put their ribbon on, on uh, clearance? No, no, I stocked up on it, so I have a lot of it. Oh, thanks, Kimberly. Yeah, I got this from um, Craft Outlet. Yeah, because I could not, I hated those when I first started. Because honestly, I just could not, just couldn't get the hang of it. Let me check my internet for some reason. I don't know why I cannot get on to the internet for some reason. I don't know why. Um, no, it is, I used 10 inch mesh for the base, for the ruffles, and then I used, um, hmm, it says I'm connected. I used um, five and a half inch mesh for the, um, the curls. Um, Sandra, I have been doing it about two and a half, almost three years. 
I've been doing lives for almost a year now. And I love it. And um, I don't know, it's just kind of a passion of mine. And you kind of develop your own style, your own rhythm of stuff. And, you know, there's no rules in reading. So, um, yes, Caroline, it is. Yes, it's from Craft Alley. Okay, so I'm done now. I put the curls in all of the ruffles or all of the things. Now we're going to add our ribbon. And I have this paw print ribbon, one and a half inch paw print ribbon that I got from Craft Outlet. And then this ribbon I found, where did I find this? Oh, at the Christmas tree shop. I found this at the Christmas tree shop. And then I was thinking of adding this, but I wasn't 100% sure. So I'm just going to cut one or two and see if we like that or not. You know, sometimes I just have to experiment with it and see if I like it or not. And this, um, this I got off of Amazon. Oh. Okay. So this is what I was thinking of doing, is putting the red dots on the bottom. And then the red with the bone, oh, cute with the bones and the paw print. I thought that was so cute. And then the paw print on top. Now you see how this pattern, okay? One thing I want, want to tell you guys. When you use ribbon with patterns, like you see how the paw prints are facing this way, you want this facing the same way, but you want to make sure that you're putting them, when you put them all in your ties, that you're putting them all the same. Like you want to, you want to pay attention to the print of your ribbon. Okay, and then I just fold it in half, and then I gather it at the fold. And then I'm going to put it into, oops, put it into my pipe cleaner. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that there. Okay, kind of bring that down. You can really pull on it there. I'm just kind of facing it different ways. All right, so that's what that looks like. I think I like the dots in there. These ribbons are cut to um, 13 inches. I wanted them a little shorter this time. I kind of, I really like that mesh. So um, I cut them at 13 inches just to show a little more of the mesh. So I have my handy dandy mesh roller here, or my mesh holder, that I'm going to use to cut my ribbons. Hey Sandy, hey Sandy from Indiana and Sandy. And what I do, whoops, I just take, goodness gracious, flip this. Okay, so I take my ribbons and I measure to the 13 inch mark and then I put my finger there and then I just fold it over and then I just roll it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Oh, Merry Christmas to you too, Sandy and your family. Hope you guys have a good one. And then I'm just going to take it and fold it in half and then do the dovetail. Okay, go to the other end and do the same thing. The mesh holder came from Susie's Recent Things and I cannot get onto my computer otherwise I would give you the links. When I get off of here I will um, put the links on because for some reason I cannot get on Facebook on my computer. I do not know why. It doesn't want to go. 
So I will do that as soon as I get off. I'll put the link to the mesh holder. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it just keeps going round and round and round. Okay. All right, so we're going to use the red. I don't know why. It doesn't really go, but oh well, that's okay. But I will post my link when I get done here so you guys have it. Because I now this, she has different um, sizes. This is the ultimate, it holds three. It is wonderful. I love it. No problem, Donna. Sorry about the difficulties. I don't know why it's being finicky tonight. So again, I just stack my ribbons, fold it in half to get the center, and then I just gather it together. And then I just curl it like that. And then I set it into my pipe cleaner. It's driving me crazy. Don't you hate that? You know, technology is great when it works, but it doesn't, um, you know, when it doesn't, it drives you crazy. Um, no, Jasmine, you know, sometimes I use two. Sometimes I use four and I alternate them, like two and two and two. I just wanted to use three this time. So it's kind of whatever you want. Yeah, so I just... You know, this time I thought I would use the three. And you can use one, two and a half, and two one and a halves. You can use all three and a half. Like I said, there's no rules with wreathing. So it's kind of just however you like to do it. And then just spread them out to be where you want them to be. And you can really yank on them good. To get them to sit where you want them. Mary, how's it going? Oh, stupid phone. There we go. Well, all the deleting and resigning up didn't work. I just happened to. Oh, I, Trixie, I don't know. I wish I knew why it's not working. And you're sure under the following that you're following everything? Um, that your settings to follow me and on messenger your settings are okay that is so frustrating the mesh is from craft outlet thank you Teresa yep, the mesh I got from craft outlet oh well that didn't tie very good pulled that right out you're busy reading the comments. Sorry, guys. That is so crazy. Nope, Cheryl, you can cut it any length you want. Um, you can use 12, you can use 10, you can use 11, you can use 13. Um, I would say most of the time I use 14. Sometimes I cut it 13, you know, a little shorter because I'd like to see a little more of the mesh. It's totally up to you, whatever look you like best, um, you know, whichever one you want. Oh, thank you, Judy. Yeah, it's turning out pretty good. Yeah, so whatever, you know, like I said, you can use 10-inch mesh, you can use 21-inch mesh, 
Um, you know, it's all basically whatever your preference is. Make sure I tie that in there good. One more on the top, and then we will move to the bottom. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. That is very much appreciated. Yeah, I'm trying to get to 10,000 likes. If you guys would share it and help me get there, I would appreciate it. I think I have 9,000 and some. I know, I like the polka dot too. Yeah, if you guys could share and help me get to 10,000. When I get to 10,000, I'm going to give away um, a single one of these mesh holders and a wreath, and maybe some ribbon. Let's see. All right, so that's the top done. Yeah, that red polka dot ribbon really stands out. Hey, Cheryl, how's it going? So, again, I'm just using two two and a half and one one and a half i'm stacking them on top of each other thank you gracie and then folding them in half thanks janet oh my daughter-in-law that's pregnant thanks jasmine she's doing well she's done work so praise the lord for that because she's just so tired hey kathy thanks jasmine yeah, you know, when it's your third baby and you're working full time and getting up at like five o'clock in the morning and it's a lot. So she's due on the ninth. So we'll see when she has this baby. Um, the mesh holder came from Susie's recent things. I do have um, a link for it, but I can't get on my computer for some reason. So I will post it as soon as um, I can get back on. And that way you guys know where to buy it. But I love it. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Jasmine. I appreciate the shares. Hey, Diane. How's it going? So I just cut these to 13 inches. Like I said, you can cut them 10. You can cut them 12, 14. It's really up to you. And the look you like. Sometimes I go a little shorter if I want to see more mesh. Or a little longer. You know, it's just up to you. Oh, hey, Glennis. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. If you're new and don't get alerts, type in live. And hopefully <laughs> you will answer the questions from the bot and you will get alerts each time I go live. I also have a private group um, that if you're interested in that. Hey, Jasmine, if it works. Why not? Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Karen. Yeah, but it's Susie's recent thing, so that's where we get them. And Susie's wonderful. Hey, Deborah. Welcome. Well, I'm glad you're here. So, Merry Christmas to everyone. Yep, if it works, Jasmine, hey. Because you know what, when you're first getting started, you know, if you're just getting started to rethink, you can shell out a lot of money, right? I didn't have all this, these fancy tools when I first started. You know, you just find what works for you. I mean, what you really need, you need a rotary cutter and um, a self-healing mat, but use coupons and get them, you know, half off or something like that. And... You know, the rest of the stuff will just come in time because you don't want to go into debt. You don't want to get, get into trouble, you know. So you just kind of, I mean, I just bought the stuff over time, you know. Find stuff on sale. Hey, Diane, thank you. Yep, see, yep, you can use that. Shoe rack. I started out with shoe racks. 
Merry Christmas, Peggy. Oh, hey, Samantha. How are you? Welcome. I'm glad you're here, Samantha. How old is Samantha? Yeah, I got this today at Michael's. Thank you, Elizabeth. Same to you. <laughs> Jasmine, all of our husbands think we're crazy. Because, you know, this, this, um, <laughs> this crafting, you know, is addicting. And, you know, my, my neighbor calls me a ribbon whore because, you know, I'm sure you can see I've ribbon everywhere. But, you know, you get addicted to it because, you know, you have to have that ribbon. Hi, Samantha. You're nine. Do you like to make wreaths, Samantha? Hey, Kathy. How are you? Yep. Merry Christmas to you, Kathy. Okay, so this is our last one. Okay, so that's what it looks like. <laughs> Will do, Johnny. It's a great store, right? I know. Okay, so then what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to put anything else in the pipe cleaners, I'm going to take, hey, Pam, Merry Christmas. I'm going to take one of my dowels, and I'm just going to take my pipe cleaners and wrap them around and get them out of the way. This is the sign I'm using. Oh, Merry Christmas, Karen. I got it from um, at home. What part of rough don't you understand? I thought it was cute. So I'm just going to curl these out of the way because I know I'm not going to put anything else in them because you don't want them sticking straight out. <clears throat> okay. Oh, thanks, guys. Almost done with this. A couple more to go. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Samantha. I know, guys. I started out in my kitchen. Did I, kitchen, did I do the kitchen first or the basement first? I don't remember. I was in my kitchen. I was in my basement. I was in my sunroom. You know, and then it gets too cold in the basement. It gets too cold in the sunroom because it's not heated. And so then I moved up into the kitchen. My husband's like, that is not going to work. All right. So that's what our wreath looks like. Then we're going to put our sign on. So it already, it had like a holder. So you can see these two little holes. So I'm just going to add pipe cleaners down here to put the sign on. I'm just going to add, use the holes that it had here and add the pipe cleaners there. Oh, thanks, Sharon. Thank you, Darlene. Appreciate that. Okay, so put that one in there. And then I'm going to take, now this is, sign is pretty thick, so I don't have to worry about the staples going through this. At least I don't think. So um, I'm not going to bother with those little things I normally use. So I'm just going to put one in the middle and see if I can get away with that. Get this way. <clears throat> okay. Put that down. There we go. Oh, I thought it was kind of thick, so. Oh, I'm sorry, Cynthia. Hey, Terrell. I'm sorry. What was your question? <laughs> yeah, our dining room is taken over with toys. I'm sorry if I missed your question. Ask again and I'll answer it if I can. 
All right, so I'm just going to kind of put him over on the side like that. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, and when you put your sign on, you kind of want to try to find a crossbar to put it on so your sign doesn't slide all over the place. Okay, so we're going to put that one there. So I'm going to put it on a crossbar. Yeah, I did. We had our dining room and then we took the, we never used it. I don't know. We just never used the dining room furniture. So we took that apart and we, um, it's now playroom for the grandkids. Okay, so put this over here. Okay. Oh, the sign I got from the at-home store. I know, right, Diane? They really do. Because, you you know, you always want the next ribbon or the next toy or something like that. But, you know, you'll get there. It just takes time. Okay. Yay! Love it, love it, love it. Okay. What do you guys think? I think he's adorable. Okay, I don't think it needs a bow. I think we're good without a bow. All this ribbon on here, I think we are good. Okay, tuck that under there. But yeah, he's cute. I love that little sign. So I will have this in my Etsy shop. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. So that's the wreath. Let me put that right there. All right. Oh, this is the Valentine's kit that I'm going to be, um, I have on my Etsy shop. So it comes with the frame, the pipe cleaner. This is the sign we're going to use. Okay. It says love. And then it comes with the black. It's a little bit different, the mesh that I got. Um, it comes with this is a four inch white ribbon. You get 25 yards of this. And then this is three yards. This is 10 yards. Let me show you guys that. And you get 10 yards of this one. And then five yards of this one. So I think I have four or five left of this kit in my Etsy shop. So you want to get that if you want it. And then these are some of the signs that I'm selling in my Etsy shop too. I have the Be Blessed. Um, the ribbons I got from all over. I have the Welcome. I have the Cat Lover. Beware of Dog Kisses. And then dogs make me happy, people not so much. <laughs> so there's a few, a couple of the signs I have in my shop. And then I know we're going to be doing a kit with this one coming up probably in a couple months. So, but for right now I have the Valentine's kit, but I do have these signs. So if you're interested, let me know. Like I said, they're in my Etsy shop, the dogs ones, the cat one. The ladybug and the um, be blessed. The signs I think are seven. I want to say seven fifty. Yeah, they're seven fifty. Yep, seven fifty. So I know I'm going to be doing that. That's going to be a kit. So I'm working on getting stuff together for that kit right now. So. All right, guys, that's all for me. So like I said, if I have these signs in there, I know I have a couple of the um, Valentine kits left. So if you want those, go ahead and get them. I will post a link for the kit and the mesh holder when I'm done here. So thank you guys very much for supporting me this year and blessing me and coming on to my page. And I really, really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. I'll probably be back on Thursday night. Um, 
no, 750 rows. Any beach. I'm working on getting some beach ones. I have, um, I just got a flamingo one in, so I'm going to be doing a kit with that. And I forget which other one I got. Another one I got for a kit, so. All right, thanks, guys. Have a Merry Christmas, and I will see you Thursday. Take care. Bye.